Hello friends, this video on acids, bases and salts part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about litmus in detail. So what is litmus? How do we obtain litmus paper and how do we conduct the litmus test? So first let's understand what is litmus. It is nothing but a natural dye. So it is a mixture of naturally occurring dyes which are obtained from lichen. So again I'm repeating lichen is nothing but the symbiotic association between fungi and algae. Where do you find it? On the bark of trees. So now, uh, normally if you uh, talk about uh, how, uh, how the litmus looks like, so this litmus is like a powder, like how you have dye, right? So dyes are uh, 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 obtained in many different colors. So this uh, litmus is also obtained in many colors like red, mostly, most commonly seen is the red uh, litmus. So it is a powdery uh, thing but it is highly soluble in water. So it mixes up with water very fast and very nicely. So that's how you get, you obtain a, a litmus indicator solution. So when you mix this litmus powder with water then what you get is the litmus indicator solution. So what you get is litmus indicator solution. Now this litmus indicator solution it has a special property that this solution turns red in acidic solution and it turns blue in basic solution. So that means if you mix this litmus indicator solution. So litmus indicator solution is nothing but this litmus powder mixed with water. So that is your litmus indicator solution. So that solution will act as an indicator. So when you put some other solution which is under test that is we want to know what is that solution whether so let's say you have another solution which is under test so you want to know whether this solution is acidic or basic so what do we do we put few drops of this solution into the litmus solution now if the litmus solution turns red that means the solution under test was acidic in nature and if the litmus indicator solution turns blue that means the solution under test was basic in nature. So this is the property of litmus indicator solution that it turns red in acidic solution and it turns blue in basic solutions. In fact because of this property of litmus indicator solution it is used as an indicator. So if you put it into neutral solution, what will it happen? It will neither turn red nor turn blue. It will turn light purple in color, which we often call as mauve. So it will become mauve color in neutral solutions like distilled water. Pure water is a neutral solution. So why do you think litmus is used as an indicator because of this different colors because it reacts differently with an acid and a base with acid it gives red color with base it gives blue color so two different behaviors with acid and base and that is what we were looking at an object as an indicator so it turns red in acidic solution turns blue in basic solution so two different colors with two types of solutions good enough for us to distinguish which one is acidic and which one is basic therefore litmus is used as a very it is in fact a very commonly used indicator now to make the uh, this process of testing acid or base yeah, more convenient instead of using the litmus uh, solution litmus papers are more commonly used because you know papers are more uh, easy to handle and uh, the test also becomes more simpler and more convenient so how do we obtain this litmus paper because till now we were only talking about the litmus solution now once we have prepared the solution all we need is a few filter papers so I hope all of you know what are filter papers. So these are like uh, papers with fine pores. Like when you prepare tea, what do you do? After preparing tea, you pass it through a sieve. Why, what, why do you need that sieve? So that it can filter out the tea from all the solid uh, tea leaves. So in a similar way, these filter papers, they have very tiny pores. And when you pass any solution through it, it will just allow the liquid to pass through it. And it will hold back all the solid particles so that is filter paper so you take some filter paper and 
you put litmus solution into the filter paper. So the filter paper will completely absorb the litmus solution and then you dry it perfectly. Once you dry it, the solution, the, the paper will take the color of the solution. So basically the solution will remain within that paper. So the paper will completely absorb the solution. Now, as I told you, so the most commonly available litmus papers are red and blue litmus papers. So they are cut into thin strips as you can see here and then it becomes very convenient to use them as an indicator. So litmus paper is one of the most common indicators which is used to test the acidity of a substance. Now the way I was telling that the uh, litmus indicator solution changes its colors. Similarly, these litmus paper, when you put them inside the solution, so if the solution is acidic, it turns red. If the solution is basic, it turns blue. In fact, that is the reason why we have two different colors of litmus paper, red and blue. Because if we only have red litmus papers, in that case, it will become difficult to decide which one is acidic. Because when the red litmus paper is put inside the acidic solution, it will still remain red. Correct? But if the same red litmus paper is put inside a neutral solution, then also it will remain red. So uh, the, uh, the decision might become a little difficult. So that is why uh, both the colors of litmus paper are available, red and blue. And using both of these, we will be able to reach to a conclusion whether a particular solution is acidic or basic in nature. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.